Welcome to this week's fabulous fall adventure. There's new experiences, fresh surroundings, and comforting food. What are we serving from today's harvest? Pumpkin whoopie pies! You can resist these soft, fluffy pumpkin cakes with a melt in your mouth, Swiss meringue buttercream sandwiched between them. They are so underrated, and you can find the original creations at Lancaster, Pennsylvania, known for Bird and Hands Bake Shop. Or if you can't take the trip, you can make them at home this fall after watching this video. So be sure to keep on watching! Let's get started with all of our dry ingredients first. I'm measuring 270 grams of flour along with half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon for pumpkin spice and everything nice. After whisking that, set it aside and in another bowl, add a third of a cup of shortening, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and give that a mix. At this point, it's perfectly normal not to have a creamy texture since this contains no butter, much like the traditional Amish version. And guys, if you haven't already, join the fall fun and subscribe! This whole month is full of cozy recipes for fall and Thanksgiving, so you don't want to miss out on that, do you? I just beat in one room temperature egg and combining that with three quarters a cup of pumpkin and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For a tender and moist cake, I'm using a quarter cup of buttermilk in there. And last but not least is the dry ingredients mixture from earlier. I recommend to incorporate a third of that in at a time and finish by folding with your spatula to prevent overmixing. Once that's done, it's time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and drop generous scoops of batter onto a parchment lined baking sheet. How awesome do these guys look already? To shape them, I dab some warm water onto any bumpy areas that need to be smoothed out and form them into little mounds that will perfectly sandwich our cream. Once they're good to go, pop them in the oven for 23 minutes. They will be so soft and pillowy upon taking them out of the oven. So while they are warm, I like to gently press around the edges with a circle cookie cutter in case the whoopie pie spread out or got misshapen in the oven because it totally happens. While they are cooling down, we are going to make our heavenly Swiss meringue buttercream. First very important step, wipe down your bowl with a lemon to remove any grease or residue. A pristine clean bowl is key for whipping excellent egg whites. When that's ready, pour in three egg whites and one and a half cups of granulated sugar and whisk until it thoroughly combined. Next, I'm placing that over a pan of simmering water. Just check that the bottom of your bowl isn't touching the water and throw in a quarter teaspoon of salt as you are whisking the egg whites. You will know it's done when the sugar is completely dissolved. The test is at 160 degrees. Pinch to see how it feels and it passes the test if it's not grainy. Now this is the fun part. Use your beater attachment to whip your egg whites in a stand-up mixer until stiff peaks form, think like an icicle. This is critical to giving the icing a fluffy consistency. After you have the stiff peaks, allow the egg whites to come to room temperature, otherwise it will turn into a soupy mess, but you will be able to tackle this like a pro after watching this video. At room temperature, you can proceed with mixing in one and a half sticks of unsalted butter 
one tablespoon at a time and doing the same in three quarters a cup of shortening, also one tablespoon at a time. When all the butter and shortening are added, don't forget we are adding a touch of cream cheese by beating four ounces in a separate bowl. Go ahead and add the whipped cream cheese in one tablespoon at a time. And finish it off with one tablespoon of clear vanilla extract. This icing is totally worth it and beautifully silky. Finally to serve, take one of your cakes and swirl a big cloud of the Swiss meringue buttercream using a 1M tip and sandwich with another cake for the most luscious whoopie pie. It's time to get our pie on and taste this. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down below your favorite Thanksgiving dish or dessert. This is great to share with your family and friends at the Thanksgiving table. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another fall treat.